all welcome back to my channel i am dg tarot this is stephanie and i'm gonna be doing your divine feminine divine masculine reading today uh welcome to tea and tarot so usually i drink the tea um today i just wanted to show you my favorite um one of my favorite mixtures for the tea which is it the earl gray the london fog um i ran out of the ingredients <laughs> with oat milk and everything um but i am gonna get more so that i can drink with you guys next time let me know in the comments below what you are drinking today for your tea and tarot i hope you guys had a good weekend i know it's been in the u.s um flooding and lots of rain so hopefully you guys have been safe out there um thank you so so much for joining me on you know tiktok and joining me here and for um being a loyal subscriber and if you haven't subscribed and you resonate with today's message like share and subscribe to support this message and get it out there support the channel um so i would like to say that obviously like today's age is like a you know slide <laughs> swipe 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 and things like that click on click off well if you don't resonate and if you don't believe in me you don't believe what i do then guys you don't you can swipe right off or you can find something else that you enjoy doing i don't understand why some of you come here and you just hate and you just troll and you just bully people and you just don't care like the energy that you put out there like if you're a twin flame if you're a masculine or a feminine you're coming here you're coming here to learn to be guided and to get help to take that guidance and to be on that path of enlightenment and ascension but you guys are come not you guys but the ones who come here they just click on and click off they don't even look at the message honestly and then they assume a bunch of stuff and then they'll put comments on there that are ridiculous and don't even make sense um that you know i'm here to lead you guys the wrong way and stuff like i lead with love and light i always send a message of hope and if you don't like that then you just have some hate that you need to take care of so with that out of the way, I'm not going to say too much, but you will get blocked off my channel. You will not get to message me or comment um, on my channel because that's just ridiculous. Um, <laughs> I have always, you can ask anybody, I love you guys and you guys truly support me and I want to help you back. So with that said, um, I have perks for you guys also who join. So you can win a free deck, um, free t-shirt. We are making more as we speak. Really cool, cute um, tarot um, card, kind of like these t-shirts and stuff like that. Um, and I'm gonna be wearing them too. I'm gonna be getting them in. You can also join me live on TikTok and see those things. Um, go into that description below and you see how you win free reading and stuff like that. So I have my card decks here that i've created and i'm going to use some others for this reading today so as you guys requested i'm going to be doing the divine feminine i'm going to check this really quick yeah that should be on okay i'm going to be doing the um divine feminine today and i'm going to get your masculine's 5d messages and messages of love with my favorite pining rose crush edition from calico moon and let's see what's going on this week guys it's a very very important week like not kidding there's so much energy out there because we have this super full moon coming up next week and an eclipse all these alignments are creating some intensities in the universe and who knows what's going to happen with you and your twin flame over this next week so this is really really vital and important that's why i'm going to be focusing on not only the masculine but on the feminine as well guys and let's see where you're at in your connection so all right let's get started in the pre-shuffle i already had a couple of cards falling out here in regard to patience we have the temperance coming out here um and we have the seven um yeah the seven of cups feminine so well, to me, this speaks water energy um, and also is telling me that you are in a position right now in which you have some options to think about and it may take some time. We have patience um, meeting in the middle path here with our temperance card. You are in the midst of making a decision 
you're daydreaming about your desires, about the options that you have um, or that you want to have. Mm, you know, probably daydreaming obviously about like your masculine and about the life you could have, I feel like. Daydreaming about these options that you have with your masculine, um, that your masculine would reach out to you, you know, and it's taking a lot of time and patience from you. And this also tells me, you know, it's time to heal some things too. So maybe you have some healing to do, but you are daydreaming about a life. This, you know, option here of your masculine that you have been waiting for a long time and you really desire in this life with your masculine. Okay, so that's just what it's reading as right now. I don't make these cards up. <laughs> you know, this is what I'm reading from the cards. And obviously if you're not, like many of you come in here saying, oh, I'm not waiting for them. I'm not doing this, I'm not doing that. But you're on my reading. So you are here for a reason, honey. So just get that out of the way. Um, yeah, temperance. Mm -hmm. So you've just been waiting for a long time. And you've been waiting for this, uh, these, you know, desires and daydreams that you have in regard to your connection. And um, you're feeling like your masculine is not taking the action that you are. You know, you're thinking about it, you're dreaming about it, you're trying to manifest it, but it's taking so much time to get to where you want it to be. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you're trying to manifest this union, but it's just so slow. You feel like it's really slow and you have all these options, these choices that you could make or that, you know, you are making right now. Um, and you know that you have those options here. You know you can move forward. You know you could move on. You know that you could do all of these different things, but you're waiting for your mat. Yeah, that's definitely what I'm getting now. You're waiting for your masculine. You're waiting for them to come forward. You're waiting for them to communicate so that you can make this choice. You want to hear from them first. You want to know that, the, you know, like you want that closure with them or that opening, like, hey, are we going to do this or not? You know, before you make your solid decision here. So you're waiting, you know, like I said, it's just a big waiting game and you wanna do that before you move on with these other options you could have, because you could be happy, you could be moved on, could be doing all of these things, but there's just been this, um, big waiting game, like I said. The other energy for the feminine, what's coming towards the feminine from the masculine, what's coming towards the feminine in their life. Another cups card. A lot of emotional, like, oh my god. Yeah, this is like totally Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer energy here. Um, water energy and i have to pick up this card that fell so for sure feminine i mean you've got a lot coming towards you here's the moon okay i told you this energy is insane the magician manifestation creation okay um <laughs> you've been trying to manifest this for so long and we have the moon moon's usually subconscious dreams um, confusion, like illusions. Um, oops, and I feel like you're just kind of, you might be like confused about this journey or this connection, like why it's taking them so long or what happened even, or when is it going to be time to come together, you know, but you're manifesting what you're thinking about. So make sure that your, um, your thoughts are focused on what you desire and that it will come to you at the divine timing and the given time that is uh, meant to be. But you could be dreaming a lot about them. This full moon is very powerful, guys. And you see all this energy and rays coming down from this. This looks like an eclipse to me. You have the sun, you have the moon. And this to me looks like that eclipse. And I'm telling you guys, you're manifesting what you are thinking and imagining and dreaming. And this page of cups, 
is a message, communication, um, a message from your masculine, a message from the universe, from spirit, telling you that this is happening, that this power is just flowing through you right now, feminine. You have this moon, subconscious energy. You have this powerful energy being pulled towards you in this connection right now. And you're manifesting your thoughts and your desires and your dreams. And we have this, Corinth, we have this here saying that you're going to receive a message. You're going to receive a communication of some kind, an offering. And then we get your Pentacles card here. The um, the nine, yeah, sorry, the nine of pentacles, fruits of labor. You've been waiting for so long, and it's crazy that after this long wait period, we're getting this confirmation of communication, of an offering of some kind, of um, the things that you're manifesting, and this fruits of labor, your hard, hard work paying off, finally getting that wish fulfillment, the desires fulfilled in this connection. This powerful moon energy, this eclipse here, this just incredible, the manifestation and creation power that you have right now, feminines, you gotta watch your thoughts. You have to actively be thinking about what you want and desire because you're in manifestation power. All this energy, I mean, all of this is just accumulating and adding up to give you your desires fruits of labor hard work paying off um and this here this communication this message of some kind from whether it be the universe from your masculine um but we'll find out more <laughs> let's keep i just kind of got stuck on that guys like that energy was really strong and like i said the the eclipse full moon like that stuff coming up that shift there's going to be huge energy coming in and you're gonna be manifesting like crazy over this next week into next week so let's get the energy of your connection Okay, sorry guys, my camera cut out on me. So we're here with the Ten of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. So there is all this pain and confusion again, like you're severing ties with the past, you're severing ties, maybe breaking up with someone, divorce, things like that have happened to you. Um, and you feel abandoned and unloved in many ways um, because you haven't had this... <sighs> completion with your masculine and um but an ending to that approach is here because with loss there is renewal with death there is birth and new beginnings and um you know a renewal of energy and good things and positive things that come back to you so yes you're in this energy of like pain and loss and confusion over this connection, but that ending is approaching. You're reaching the pinnacle of this. And the only reason for this cycle to end is for a new one to begin or for, you know, um, a new beginning in the cycle between you and your twin flame. So all of this darkness, all of this, you know, um, pain, like I said, an energy of chaos and pain and the breakups and stuff like that, there's going to be a renewal of that, of this connection and an ending approaching. So what's going on with your masculine? And look at here, we have the six of swords at the bottom of the deck, leaving behind endings and travel. Yeah, so they're ending and closing cycles as well. Closing cycles, heavy burden, responsibility. Ten of Wands. So, you know, the reason that it has been going so slow and taking all this time is because they had some responsibility, a burden that they were carrying around and they were working on closing out cycles just like, you know, an ending for you is approaching. An ending for them is approaching also. That's weird. And then we get 
the three of wands movement travel waiting so they're waiting to make a move they're waiting and we just get all this stuff about like travel um movement so this tells me that there's you know going to be action and we have temperance yin and yang healing love and harmony that you guys will come into a place of harmony and that yin and yang that union divine feminine masculine but they're waiting to make a move they're waiting to travel forward they're waiting for the right moment because they do have a duty and responsibility where they are. There are some burdens on their shoulders and they have to close those cycles before they can move forward towards you. But there is a lot of healing going on and this is coming together. You know, and with you, you're severing those ties necessary, endings and cycles closing for you so that there can be this harmony there will be a harmony between the both of you as you both tie up any remaining loose ends in your present time right now. And when that happens, that gives you, again, like you're in that heavy manifestation energy right now. So let's get ooh, the other energy in it. Okay, so there's some soul searching. We have true love. This is also a twin flame symbol. Um, yeah, true love. Okay, soul searching, searching for true love, um, searching for purpose. And we have angel here. So earth angel. So there, there is this guidance in your connection, in your guys' connection. Um, they're being led towards you. They're being led to seek them deep within um, for healing. So there's, you know, it's protected, this divine union, this uh, um, alignment is being watched over and guarded and um, masculine is seeking this true love, you know, soul searching, things like that um, in the connection, waiting for the right moment to come forward. So let's get our um, twin flame separation energy right now for the masculine. For the masculine, please. Okay, time. I fear I'm running out of time. Tied down. I'm tied down by karmic forces. Please wait for me. And then fantasy. I fantasize making love to you all the time. So the masculine is being plagued by these karmic forces. I feel like they're running out of time to reach out to you or to come towards you um, that you may move on. And that's the energy of you as well, that you're waiting on this opportunity you have options and opportunities but um you're waiting for them <laughs> to communicate you're waiting for an answer from them um they're tied down by karmic forces please wait for me they're asking you to wait for them because they feel like they're wait running out of time with you please wait for me um they're tied down responsibility heavy burdens they have a responsibility to someone um they're just like, you know, please be a little bit more patient, the temperance here, and they're fantasizing about you all the time. During this period, they're fantasizing about you, they're thinking about you nonstop, can't get you out of their heads, um, always thinking about what it would be like to be with you, things like that. Um, so for you, feminine, what is the energy for you? Divine feminine, separation energy, divine feminine, what are Yes, you are transcending. We have telepathy. I can fill you with me. So you definitely can feel their energy with you. This is why, because they're fantasizing about you, thinking about you. I'm rising above my old form. So feminines, you're transcending too. You're ascending. You guys are going to come to a place of harmony and reunion after these cycles have closed. Reincarnation, I could feel our past love life. So you can feel their energy, you can feel this intensity, chemistry, attraction because you've known them before, you feel like you've known them before. Love letters, I've written you full messages to send so many times, but I can't bring myself to send them. So feminine, you're hesitant to, like I said, you're waiting for them to reach out to you, perhaps because you fear that 
you know, that they might reject you. You don't know how they feel. And the same goes for them. They're afraid they're running out of time with you. They don't know how you feel about them, um, but they're tied down. They're asking you to wait a little bit longer. And during this time, you're feeling their energy because they're fantasizing about you. And you're transcending, you're changing, you're um, moving up further in your ascension while you wait. And that is very necessary for true, you know, that inner union, that 5D union, um, things like that. So let's get your pining room. Uh, the chemistry, that's exactly what I was telling you about, wasn't I? There's that chemistry between you guys. Look at that daydreamer. So they're daydreaming, fantasizing about you as well. Daydreamer. Look at that chemistry. So much lust. Lust in a good way, guys. That doesn't mean it's like negative lust that they don't have you know real feelings for you they feel the chemistry there's so much less because there's so much attraction and they're fantasizing about you so much they're working really hard to fulfill their desires as well with you there's something about you so they can feel that mystery that magnetic pull they're feeling like they've known you before too and twin flame there's so much chemistry here because you guys are twin flames and there is this huge energy surrounding them, intensity surrounding them and you. Um, there's something about you because you're their twin flame. There's so much chemistry and attraction and desire and fantasies and they're working hard to fulfill these things. They want this as well. So awesome. All that chemistry and desire, fantasies, and they're working hard to reach to you. All right, so let us get, um, what else do I have here? Oh, let's get our masculine mirror message from the masculine. My masculine, please, what is your energy right now towards the feminine? And in this connection, this is also what they're working on. My masculine. What is my purpose? I know you are the one. Wow, yeah, true love. They know that you're the one. There's, oh my God, what is my purpose here? Soul searching, okay? We had um, soul searching and they're trying to figure out their purpose in with you, with the, the world. I do not fear death, so ego death. They don't fear letting go of their ego. They don't fear letting go of the past or you know, what may happen in the future. They just want um, to be happy. They want true love. Um, they know that you're the one. All right, that's so beautiful. What is their purpose? So they're search, soul searching. They're not afraid anymore of these risks and the leaps they have to take, but they do have to um, think about, you know, the responsibilities they have. And they know you're the one. What is the masculine's counterpart message to the feminine? I don't know why I keep pushing you away. I'm sorry. I can't wait to feel you beside me, on top of me, and all around me. Lots of desire, again, guys. Um, so they're sorry for pushing you away. They knew that they pushed you away. Um, you know, it's a heavy burden for them as well what they did to you how they pushed you away and how they weren't honest about their feelings but they can't they're saying they can't wait to be with you again they can't wait to be around you again um you know physically sexually as well so there's that energy again that fantasy that chemistry they just want to be around you again they miss you so much let's get our dm to df and spirit message from the masculine I'm going to contact you soon. Yeah, so we saw that. They want to reach out. They want to contact. The masculine wants to be with you. Okay, look at this. 
secret messages of your DM's heart. I can't stop thinking about you. My mind is racing with thoughts about you emotionally, mentally, sexually. I don't think I can hold in my feelings and desire for you anymore. I am seconds away from picking up the phone and calling you right now. I'm going to contact you soon. If you run, I might chase, but will you accept me as I am? Do you know I accept you? So they, um, if you run from their energy, they may chase you. Um, and they're saying like, if they do pursue you, will you be ready for me? So make sure you're prepared at all times, guys, because we have this contact and communication. Um, they want to reach out to you soon. Um, they're stuck its away from picking up the phone. They just can't get you out of their minds, fantasies, thoughts, and dreams. All right, feminine. So let's get the energy, the love energy for you right now. Gosh, I'm trying to we have take a chance on love. Focus on love. Look for the good. So focus on love, just like I told you, because you're manifesting these things. Take a chance on love. When we love, our lives are changed forever. Take a chance on the love. Take a chance on the masculine. Um, will you accept them if they pursue you? You know, I'm, I know that's what you've been waiting for, so probably a dumb question. All right, so take a chance on love and focus on love. Okay, Divine Feminine, what is the... Their energy. This is hard to shuffle, sorry. Divine Feminine. What is the energy for the Divine Feminine? Ooh, channeling. So you're channeling energy as well. You're channeling messages from your twin flame. So the things you've been feeling, the things you've been dreaming about, you're channeling them. Their thoughts about you, their desires about you, how they feel about you lately. You've been channeling all of these things directly from your masculine, from your twin. So um, take a chance on love, focus on love, and these things will surround you. They'll come back to you. A masculine is ready to make a move. They're, they want to take the leap, the chance. Um, they're heavily fantasizing about you, desiring you right now, feeling that attraction towards you, desire. Um, so that's incredible. I mean, this full moon, guys, it's very, very important. So, excuse me. Thanks so much for being here. Like, share, and subscribe if you're new, if you resonated. Um, commenting, guys. We're here to raise the vibration, not to lower it. Please keep that in mind when you make your comments. Of course, you are free to do as you wish, but it just won't end up on my comment board because I'm not going to subject others seeing that negativity who are trying to grow and heal. So thanks so much, guys. Um, look for me on TikTok. Follow me there for an extra chance to win decks, t-shirts, free readings, things like that. Um, and I'm going to be going live soon so y'all can come get some love card pulls and stuff like that. Um, so... Yeah, um, thanks so much. Be safe out there and let me know again what tea you drink today or whatever other drink, wine, coffee, um, water, it doesn't, you know, whichever. Um, just let me know. And I really look forward to hearing from you guys and seeing you next time. Um, check out my Etsy shop if you want a personal reading. Many of you ask. Um, just go to all the links below and find out more about INTG Tarot and everything I have to offer. So thanks so much, you guys.